Hi everyone and welcome to another keyword research video and in this video we're going to be looking at the keyword cakes. So if you're in a cake business this should be interesting for you. So we're going to be looking at a keyword cakes and find out how people actually search for cakes. So as you can see the location is in Ghana, language is English, the search network is the Google search network and the period is 12 months ago. So as I said, the keyword is cakes. And as you can see over the past 12 months, a lot of people have been searching for cakes, quite a lot. It's averaging around 30,000, I believe about 30,000 searches per month. And I'll not be too surprised because people have birthdays during the month. So definitely you want to get a cake for your friend, you want to get a cake for your loved ones. Um, some people also want to learn how to make cakes. So I'm not surprised at that at all. So a lot of people are searching for cakes in Ghana. Um, let's break it down by the locations and see which region they are searching from. Obviously, the Greater Accra region, is, um, we have 69% of searches from the Greater Accra region followed by the Ashanti region, other regions, okay. But then you get the idea. Um, let's check out the city. I'm sure it's gonna be Accra, definitely. And there it is, Accra is topping it out. So if you're going into a cake business, Accra is a very good place for you to um, start your business. But then the other regions are also picking up very well. So, I mean, out of 30,000 searches, I mean, you can do the maths. If Accra is taking 47%, then you know where the other searches are also coming from. Just by looking at this data, we can already tell how people are searching for cakes and how much they are searching for cakes. All right, so let's go a bit deeper into it and look a bit deeper into some of the keywords and the keyword ideas that people um, search for. You can see that cakes is very 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 consistent because of people's birthdays and because it's a food food keywords tend to rank very well because people eat food every day they are what um, we term as evergreen content they are things that people need every single time as you can see the spikes went up in april i'm doing this video during the COVID time and most people are home so um, i think that could explain the spike in april um, but then let's look at the other variations. We have birthday cake with over 3,600 searches per month. That's quite large. So if you're in a cake business and you're not getting people calling you for cakes, just know that they can't find you. That's the reason. It's not because people don't need cakes. People are looking for cakes, but they can't find you. So it's important for you to get a website. It's important for you to get online. It's important for you to put search engine optimization to work so that when people search for these things when people search for cakes they'll be able to find you i mean look at that chocolate cake red velvet cake happy birthday cake carrot cake and mind you all these searches are coming from ghana they are coming from within ghana so um it's right here in ghana you don't need to even go out wedding cake wow i think this is one of the largest ones a lot of people search for wedding cakes, 1,300 people. And obviously you can see that it came down in March and April because of the COVID situation. Uh, we are not allowed to have weddings anymore. So um, you can't have weddings, but then it's very limited. So definitely the searches go down. So you can see these figures are very, very real. These figures um, can really help you plan your business very well and you know how to um, position your business for success. All right, so I just want us to um, look into a few of these keywords to find out a little bit more about them, okay? So I'm just gonna copy birthday cake and paste that in my search. So let's say I'm just looking for a birthday cake and I just type in birthday cake in Google. Um, of course, right now this is the SERP page, the S-E-R-P, which is known as the search engine reports page. 
and this page is very important it changes from time to time based on the type of keyword that you put in and in this case you can see the um, some information from google maps showing you the closest cake shops around you um, little things about birthday cakes these are all sponsored posts so probably they've paid for it gives you a little definition over here it gives you a lot of recipes Okay, so you can see that people are always on the lookout. Most of the searches that come are because they want to know how to bake a cake. So if you have a cake business, it's good that you also teach people how to make cakes. Cakes they can make at home. Those are things that will get you a lot of traffic. Those are things that will get people to know you more and more. Um, as a part for top stories, celebrities doing stuff with birthday cakes, videos. Yeah, so get into videos, do some videos because people want to see. As you can see, I'm searching from Ghana, but all the content that I'm seeing is foreign. BBCGoodFood.com. I mean, yeah, most of them are foreign. So you don't, re you, you realize that Ghanaian cake businesses are really not producing content. They're just concentrating on their cake and concentrating on word of mouth, which is not enough because there are over 30,000 people every month who are searching online. And it's important that you also get online and catch all that traffic as well. It's amazing. No Ghanaian website. Amazing. Anyway, let me look for, look, let me take a look at another keyword over here. Okay, that's nice. Red velvet. I like red velvet cake a lot. If there's any cake manufacturer or cake baker, how do you call it? Cake maker, cake baker. What do you call it? If there's any cake producer watching this video and you happen to do red velvets, you can simply send me one. I would really love to eat it and I may even do a video on it. I don't mind. <laughs> but anyway, um, when I put in red velvet, you can see that it gives you a little um, recipe. A lot of people want to know about the recipes. So the search engine results page always gives you an overview of why people are searching. Most people are searching because they want recipes. They want recipes for red velvet cake. Some want definitions. They want to know what the red velvet cake is all about, what it's made of, etc., etc. And as you can see, these are the other pages, the other websites showing with content on red velvet. There are also videos. And yeah, as you can see, there's no Ghanaian website again, amazingly. Man, all right, so in the, in the Google Maps area, you can see Karina Cakes, Baked GH and Cake, Cake O, <laughs> interesting. But um, this is based on my location, so it may change based on where you are. If you're in Kumasi, I doubt you'll be seeing these you'll be seeing something different. So it's also important to get on Google Maps. Very, very important if you want people to be finding you. Yeah, so as you can see, Ghanaian businesses are not doing very well when it comes to getting online in terms of cake. We search for cake, but we don't find anything Ghanaian. That's very sad. Um, let me look for a more direct keyword like buy cake in Ghana, perfect. You see that Google already gives me some suggestions. Those suggestions actually mean that these are keywords that people look for. So people actually look for buy cake in Ghana. And as you can see, once again, there are a few sponsored ones here. And as I said, they're all paid for. They're all ads. This one is also at juliepastry.com. All right, I think this is a Ghanaian company. She's advertising. She's using Google AdWords to advertise for buying cake in Ghana. So this is one of the first ones you see. You can actually buy it. And um, whoever did the ad for her didn't do such a great job. This copy over here doesn't really tell you what type of cake she, she has. You know, it should really entice me to, to, to click the link, but it's not really doing that. And then obviously it's showing you the location. 
And hey, okay, so buy cakes in Ghana, the first thing we see is Karina cakes. So you know why they are so popular. You know why so many people like Karina cakes. Because they are the people who are showing up first when you look for buy cake in Ghana. There's Cake City Ghana, Jumia Food, Gigi, Kekio, Julie Pastry again. Okay, so I can see that Julie Pastry is making an effort to get up there. But um, even with Karina Cakes, which is currently up here, from this copy alone, I can see that she's not made any real effort to, he or she has not made any real effort to um, rank for this keyword. So um, if I should take this keyword, right, and put it in Google Search Console, sorry, Google Keyword Planner. So let's say I'm just looking for that keyword. I want to see how people search for this keyword, buy cake in Ghana. Let me get the results. All right, here we go. Oh, well, yeah, not so many people search for it. Roughly around 20 people a month. Um, in April, it has gone up a bit. Order cake online in Ghana. Okay, so quite a few people are searching and you can see that it's searched in April. And I think as the lockdown continues, it's going to surge even more. So yeah, so it gives you an idea that yeah, people are searching, people are looking for things to buy online. And in terms of cake, people want to know how cake is made. People also want to buy cake. So it's very important for you as a cake business to make sure that you're out there. Get a website. It's not very hard to do. If you need help getting a website, there's a link in the description below. You can just click it and we'll would help you out with that. Um, but then it's very important for you to get online, put SEO to work. And when you do, trust me, you will be getting the traffic to your website. You will become that popular website that you want to be. Everybody has a phone, as I usually say, and a phone is a billboard, a billboard that you don't have to pay for. If you do your SEO right, you can be on everybody's phone who is in search for cake just because you've taken your time to do that. So um, give it a thought. Make sure that you put SEO in your website and you can be the number one cake seller in Ghana. An advantage in Africa is that very few people are actually taking SEO very seriously. So there's a big opportunity for you to rank and rank well without having so much competition. So if you want to start SEO, this is the time to start it. I've put a link in the description below. You can just click it and get in touch if you're interested. All right. So probably in an industry which I've not yet talked about, you can just put a comment in the comment section below. I'll read it and probably I'll work on a little keyword research for you in your industry. So you have a better overview of what your industry is all about. Thank you very much. Make sure you hit the bell. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, and I'll see you in the next video. Hey, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell.